Hi guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we will cover the history show record and pedigree of Williams Grand Champion Badger. So get your popcorn popped, grab a beer, roll up a swisher, kick back relax and enjoy the video. This is a story about a dog that many people consider an ace. Yes a legend in his own time, viewed by many as the best 34 pound male that ever lived. Many of us are still looking for that once in a lifetime ace. Bobby has been fortunate enough Tohave had more than one in his lifetime. Bobby has owned the likes of Register of Merit Rubin, Champion Did Billy who is also a ROM along with Champion Tusk, Champion Tootsie Roll, Champion Fox, Champion Campesino and many other ace dogs. Out of all these the one closest to his heart is Grand Champion Badger. Grand Champion Badger is out of the very famous Smith and Walton's Rubin and Williams. Miha Litter, this was a tremendous litter of dogs. This breeding produced Champion Fox, Grand Champion Badger and the fabulous Taylor Dog. Taylor was famous for his contest with Champion Bullshit, a contest that Taylor proved to be dead game. Reuben was a double grandson of Hyde Satch and Bloody Sunday. The Miha bitch was a Heinzel slash Carver cross, she was sired by the dead game Heinzel's bummy. Well, enough said about these other dogs, I'll get on with the story of Badger. Badger's first contest was into the school boys who were using a good one from a Hammond slash Patrick cross named Ronnie. This was a very good show as both dogs swapped it out with all, hey hat and the stifle. Soon it was evident with all that were there, that Badger was pulling ahead with his hard mouth. The school boys had to pick Ronnie up at 53 minutes as Badger was just too rough for him to handle and minutes later it proved to be fatal for Ronnie. Diamond P's Whalen was Badger's victim for number 2 and this proved to be an extremely lopsided match. Badger dominated Whalen from start to finish, he worked the back end and the front end. In others worked he would grab anything he could get to that looked good. Whalen's owner conceded at the 35 minute in and attempted to save him and Whalen proved to be the second dead game dog that Badger had faced. Championship was the goal of Bobby on this outing and wanted nothing but to go into another first-class unbeatable dog his name was Cox and Peaks Bloody Billy. Billy was also a two-time winner and in the words of the dogman in Mississippi, Badger did not have a chance. Billy was also bred down from Hyde Satch and Bob Cox was never easy to beat. The night these two met was a show to be remembered, it took place at a very active spot as there were seven other contests taking place making this quite some convention. Badger worked Billy's back end with everything he had going right through him and winning his championship in 52 minutes. Bob Cox later approached Bobby Smith that night and said he was embarrassed as the way the match turned out. Later that night the judges of the eight-match show came to the decision that Champion Badger won best in show. At this show there were many good ones going including Sorrel's champion Uncle Bud. But let me stress that when the votes were being totaled there was no doubt in the judge's mind who was to take the coveted trophy for best in show, Champion Badger. Champion Badger's fourth match was against Benson's Dancing Fox from a Patrick slash Benson bloodline. This was Badger's shortest outing lasting only 3 minutes. Champion Badger severed a femoral artery immediately and was going down last. Benson showed great sportsmanship by picking up Fox at 3 minutes. The judge for this event was the author, of 3 books on our dogs and said that Champion Badger was one of the best dogs he had ever seen. He told me this when I interviewed him recently for the Times he also said that Badger was the roughest, most punishing and hard-biting dog that he had the, pleasure of seeing. To me, that was an impressive statement to make. Champion Badger's fifth fight for his grand championship was against Mr. Nice Gay and Mad Mike's Billy Balls. At this show there was a bitch in heat at the site and the scent was rampant to the dogs. This is the reason for the way Champion Badger acted the first 40 minutes, as he humped the air, but Badger got tired of being bit and started doing what he was famous for. Champion Badger got on Billy's stifle and just started eating away. Billy Balls was a Chris Wilkerson bred dog, sired by Wilkerson's Claney out of Wilkerson's Tipsy. Well once Champion Badger got started there was no stopping him and Billy Balls was history. They picked him up at 122 to save him, Billy Balls made a good courtesy scratch. With this fifth win Badger became an official Grand Champion. Grand Champion Badger has also proved to be quite a good stud as he has already produced one champion. This champion is known as Champion Guantas. He also has one two-time winner and numerous one-time winners. He was sold to some fanciers in Ireland who plan on breeding him quite extensively. Shortly before Bobby sent the dog to Dublin he took him to a sperm bank and has got enough sperm for 25 litres of pups. In summation without the proper dog man behind him Grand Champion Badger might not have become a famous dog. All the credit for Grand Champion Badger and his littermates should go to Bobby and his partner Willis, for without their foresight to make this breeding we would never have known a dog named Grand Champion Badger. A article which appeared in the Game Dog magazine. 10 years of age. Dailies, Smith and Waltons. Gr. Ch. Badger R.O.M.E.P. T.L. Williams of California bred Badger in 1983. He won five matches at 34 to 35 pounds and had a name for being one of the best at his weight in the USA. He was three-quarter Ronnie Hyde, Carver, Bloodline and one-quarter Howard Heinzel Bloodline. In his litter there were other well-known dogs, 
such as Williams Taylor, a Brindle 1x winner, 1x loser. He lost in a great battle with Steve C.H. Bullshit. Another brother was Smith and Williams C.H. Fox, a Brindle 3x winner at 39 pounds. A sister was Williams Lumpy, a 1x winner at 34 pounds, a red and white bitch that looked like Badger. Also a 1x looser was Padilla's Molly, who proved to be very game. Badger produced three champions in the USA, Crazy Canuck C.H. Quants, L.A., Dream Team C.H., Little Han and Powerhouse Kennel C.H., Large Marge, some others produced in the USA are Smith and Walton's Witter, A1X Winner, Smith and Walton's Josie, A1X Winner, Smith and Walton's Blake, A2X Winner, Buffalo's Ozzy A2X Winner, Badger came to Ireland and got himself a new owner in the way of Bo Daly, he retired Badger as a stud dog, here are some dogs that won in Ireland and England, Naylor C.H., Bob, a black 4x winner, 2x looser, K and K's Jesse, A1X winner, red and white female at 311 BS, Ricky B's Timber, A1X winner, red 45 and a half pounds, Cod and Quinn's Radar, A1X winner and 1x looser, red 48 pounds, T Jordan's Parvo, A1X winner and 1x looser, red 34 pounds, others that lost that were sired by Badger proved very game and some did not, Geo B's Cherry 1x looser female, K and K's Ferret, A1X looser, red female at 32 pounds, Sloan's Toker, A1X looser male at 35 and a half pounds, Naylor's Blossom A1X looser, black female lost to GR, CH, Jenny, Burns Gremlin, A2X looser at 31 pounds lost and proved very game to CH, Kulchi, Naylor's CH, Bob was bred to RFCs, K and K's, Ferret, and produced the dog known as Gimp, a 32 pounds, Dog, who lost his first match, but returned to defeat the same dog at a later date. He won two matches in total. His brother RFC Sox beat two dogs, one in Ireland and the other in England. Another brother RFC's John. Joe won one match and lost one match. The Gimp dog was bred to Miley's Lou, a sister to RFC's GR. CH. Jenny, to produce a deep game dog called RFC's Tyson, who defeated the well-known dog, Jordan's Vincent, in 2 hours and 49 minutes. Tyson went on to produce RFC's Norman who defeated Ricky B and McCallum's Ringo. Cod Zulu a brother to Norman is still alive and at stud. GR, CH. Badger appears five times, up close on his pedigree. Another son of GR, CH. Badger called Elwood's Barney, a brother to Naylor's Bob, was bred into the Farmer Boy's strain, in one litter to Farmer Boy's one-eyed Flossie. They produced Farmer Boy's Black Spider, a 1x winner and 1x looser black dog at 42 pounds, Farmer Boy's Black Terra a black 33 pounds female, and Ricky B. C.H. Kulchi a black 30 to 31 pounds female who won three matches and lost one at 32 and a half pounds, which was too much weight to give away. C.H. Kulchi was bred to Farmer Boy C.H. Skateboard to produce three males, two of which won some matches. Farmer Boy Scene Sean was a 1x winner at 33 pounds, and Bulldog Sanctuary and Belfast Boys Hagler who killed his opponent in less than 30 minutes. And in another great match he proved to be deep game against RFC's Jabs a son of C.H. Kerstopper, in the game dog, there was talk of the mating between GR, CH. Badger and GR, CH. Shelley, I forgot how many pups were born, but there was doubt as to Badger siring the litter as one of the pups was hairy like a lurcher. None of the pups turned out good or were bred from. Badger was bred ten times. He never sired many pups and didn't have a huge impact on the dogs of Ireland, but there are dogs like CH, Kulchi, Cod Zulu and others that will keep his blood in the country. This concludes the video of William's Grand Champion Badger. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive all new video uploads, like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching.